So this weekend we heard that the definitive agreement has been signed between ThyssenKrupp and Tata Steel to form a joint venture. Now part of that announcement was the confirmation that the life extension of Blast Furnish 5 here in Portalbot is to go ahead this year. So we've come down to the furnaces to find out exactly what's planned and I'm joined today by Manufacturing Director Heavy End Martin Duggan. Martin, tell me, what's the scope of the work that you're planning around this furnace? The scope predominantly is going to be around replacing the downcomer because we've had a few problems with that you know, ongoing for a number of years. We're going to replace part of the shell and then replacing the shell will then repair the refractory and then we'll replace the tap holes and we'll also repair the half as well. So what does that actually mean to the business? Is this just an essential replacement scheme or is there something more to it than that? It is an essential replacement scheme, but there is more to it as well. We're trying to extend the life of the furnace. So if you think about this campaign life, you know, it's done 15 years. That's the design intent. It's done nearly 29 million tonnes. So ultimately, we should be trying to do some repair work to the furnace. And the intention now is obviously that we don't run into more and more problems as you go through further and further into the campaign. And if you look at our past history, we're number four. Number four, we run far too long, and we ended up then in a rebuild situation. So really, you know, life extension is the first port of call. And then from that, then we can obviously look at the reline later on in coming years. So clearly, this is a major uh, piece of investment and a major project. When's it all due to start, and what work has been going on so far to get ready for it? It is a major piece of work. You know, this has not been undertaken lightheartedly. Um, and the preparation work has been going on for a number of months. So we've placed orders now with the main contractors, we've placed main orders with the long lead time items, so all that components will be turning up. Uh, we're now finalising some of the design work that's required, and then obviously we'll be good to go. At the moment, we are on a tight countdown, so we've got 38 days between our first go, no-go decision, and then from that then we'll be looking to take the furnace off in mid-September, um, and that's when we'll do, conduct the repairs. When the furnace does go off, clearly the business and the whole UK supply chain is going to be dependent on number four furnace. You know, what are you doing to make sure that that furnace will get us through that period uh, to support the whole of the UK supply chain? No, you're right. You know, and the customer base is extremely important to us. You know, we do not want to hamper the customers and we do not want to actually stop them in any shape or form. So we've been working with supply chain um, in actually building a slab stock ahead of this work. So that is building quite nicely. And obviously we're laying down the profile of stock that we need to call off ready for the hot mill when it's required during the campaign. As far as the furnaces, number four furnace is concerned, you know, we've been prudently taking that out you know, for a number of months now, trying to repair it as where we forgot known risks to ensure then that that will not stop. But equally more important, we've got to make sure the whole iron flow doesn't stop. So it's an enormous undertaking, a huge piece of work, a major capital investment. There's a huge amount of planning already started uh, and in place and ongoing. Uh, the next few months are going to be critical, clearly, for this project. Uh, and we'll be back very soon to talk to some more people about some more of the detail uh, and keep everyone informed of the latest of this project. Martin, thanks very much for your time today. Thank you very much.